the tree. Okay. I'm excited to talk about our class change. Um, our the class show. Yeah. It's unfinished. What's that TV thing? Free dyes for your fragrances. Tidy hats, free clean. With no sense, make sense. Okay. Metro PCS. Hey, Hi, Melissa. Can you mute? Oh, I can mute her. I can mute you, Melissa. <laughs> Hi, Melissa. Hi, Roxanne. What's the matter? You want to go pop the balloon? Brianna? Brianna? Go pop? Hi. Yeah. Go pop it. We'll give it to Daddy. All right, y'all. I posted Micah's video in um in our threads so if i know it was like just now posted it so you might not have had a chance to watch it but i'm just going to give you like the details of what she said basically so it's a team inspiration one so let's totally i'm all for let's do it with them right so we don't have to create our own group um unless it's like right does that sound good yeah but when what day friday this Friday. Mm -hmm. Friday, it's um, for two hours. It, it goes, we have a live um, two hours. Shoot, I didn't write down the time. I think it's from 10 to 12 Mountain Standard Time, maybe. I have to double check. I'll double check. But it's two hours. And about every 15 to 20 minutes, somebody goes live. And so they'll be having all of that set up. That way we don't have to do it. You know what I mean? Like someone goes live and shares basically like a sale package. Like, hey, this is what's going on. Like Daily Sunshine, whatever is on sale. Or um, Lift 4 is on sale. And sharing about it, sharing about Shakeology, sharing about Lift 4, sharing about 2B Mindset. So it's like this flash sale um, highlighting the deals basically is what how Micah put it. Now here's the catch. If you're participating in this, what they're saying is if somebody buys the challenge pack, they get a gift card. If it's your person and you put them in the group, you're responsible for buying them the gift card. So it could be a $10 gift card, $15 gift card, $20 gift card. Um, it might say like Amazon, Nike or something like that. But basically if someone buys a challenge pack and you get a 40, $45 commission, you're, using part of that basically to get a gift card and you know give back so since there's never any sales on shakeology you know what i mean there's it's like basically a way of saying hey there's sales going on this is going on we're going to do this but um it's giving them an incentive through the gift card and these are and these are already things that are on sale too a lot of them are yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah but the cool thing is that she's going to go live and I think Jalen and Melissa Brewer, so they're going to be sharing like, it's going to be good videos on people that are sharing about the product and stuff like that. From what I understand on that. It, but here's the thing. So, um, it goes two hours live on Friday, but the group is going to be open through Sunday. So if someone can't make it during that time, they can still say, hey, I want that special. I want this. And they let you know. And then you get them your link to send it up. So you have to be in contact with all your people you have in there. Hi. Hi. I know. Uh, but I just think it's a great idea. So she said Ashley Smith did it. I think you said that too, Shay. Candace Mc McDermott. I can never say her name. They did it. And they saw, like, it helped people to hit SC. Um, so this is a great thing to do since it's the end of August of like a push to be able to help um, our team to really plug into that. Um, now the, okay, is there any, any questions on that? For the flash sale? So just, yeah. to, it's Friday to Sunday. There's a two hour live where they're going to share about each thing. Yeah. If somebody buys a challenge pack, we're going to be responsible on sending them a gift card. Mm -hmm. so we we can we can decide if are they going to say whether it's 10 20 or 15 dollars i don't know i have to look on that but i think they might be doing that okay and then um 
because I think the higher price one obviously might have a higher, you know what I mean? They're not going to say a $20 gift card for a lower price. I don't think. Okay. But I'll double check. But, um, yeah, yes. I'll double check on that. Let me write that down so I can see. Okay. I have some ideas on just like marketing it. I saw, you know, Ashley Smith's post. Yeah. Well, yes. Did you post that in the threads? What's that? You posted that in the threads, right? I posted it in the diamond thread. I did not okay, post cool. it in the Can you post it in the emerald thread too? Just as like yes. an example. And we can post it in the team page too. I can post it in the team page too. I'll just copy it from you or you can do it. Wherever. Yeah. And it talks about how to, how to market it. Yeah. No, that's what you, you posted how to market it. That's from Micah. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I just copied everything that she posted in a different thread. So, um, so this is, yeah, so it's going to be good for like anybody that was a past challenger too. It's going to be great for, um, anyone that you talk to. Oh yeah. So, um, so yeah. Even current, even current challengers can take it, take it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Anyone that's like, Hey, you want to look at some of our specials? We got some special, you're getting a gift card out of this. You know, I mean, if someone says I get a 15, $20 Nike gift card for buying something that they like anyways. Oh, hello. You're so cute. My, um, my brain is going to reach out to all current, all customers. Because if they bought a challenge pack and it's been six months ago, you get SC points. Um, but even if you don't, even if they bought one recently, they can save money and get the volume. Yeah. That's yeah. Anybody that's ever been in any of your free groups. So go into all your free groups and look at past free group people. Yeah. Anybody who's been on the fence for a while, like this is all just like a, like a, a reason yeah. to get over my pain. And for those that are emerald or above these team pushes, um, that's where you benefit for cycles too, just to kind of give you guys like why it's important to have that emerald or above because of the volume, the volume is something that's helpful. Um, which is, I think, yeah. Um, the other thing I posted in that, I posted that video from Micah and we can go back to the flash. So if you want, but I want to make sure I didn't forget this. So she's doing a couple of groups, like inspiration groups. And usually she just does it for her PS coaches, but she's like opening stuff up. She's doing a group in um, September. Like, I think it's called like Spice Up Your Life or something. And um, basically it's for ladies only. It's going off the Girl Wash Your Face book from my understanding. And it's using to be mindset. So it's a lot of like nutrition focused group, but it's more, it's like a couples. It's only for ladies, but it's supposed to like stuff to enhance your marriage. So they're doing like a 30 day sex. I know a 30 day sex challenge where you're like, let's have sex every day for 30 days. But um, yeah, Shay's like, Oh hell. baby. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's kind of funny. They think that it'll help more men be supportive of their wives <laughs> by joining the group if they say that there's a 30-day sex challenge. Like, how can your, uh, your husband say no to that kind of group? <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Who's going to say yes? What? Yeah, um. right? Be like, how many babies are gonna come out of this? No. Yeah, I know, right? Oh gosh, a lot of June babies then. <laughs> Be like, so many people on the team get pregnant. Oh my gosh! So that's something that she's doing. Spice up your life or something, and she put it in the in the thing that it's open to other people, like the whole downline or whatever, because they wanted to make it a big fun one. So, well, I, know, um, I heard that. I heard her talking about just the two B mindset because you know we, there was that big push, yeah. For it, and we kind of like then Lift Four took over, so kind of going back to that lift because it's on sale, yeah. And that you know, starting with people's nutrition, and you can post in your stories a lot. Like, do you struggle because most people struggle with nutrition. I mean, yeah. So I think that it's a way that like 
I like kind of, and for me, I know just having a baby, I can't work out for like six weeks. So pretty much the whole month of, of September. So that's going to, for me, I'm going to really focus on like to be mindset again, because I was so focused on that. And then we kind of lost it with the lift four. Yeah. So I kind of want for me, I want to go back to that September and do just like a nutrition only that's focus such a good idea group. <laughs> yeah. But then, but then if, if people want to work out, they can still work out. That's just not going to be the focus of the group. Oh yeah, for sure. Hey, I found this in the thread where it had the gift cards. So I put that in the um, chat. Okay. Okay. So each one has a different, okay. I see. So like three pack of beach bars is a $10 gift card. I mean, that's cool. Like if someone gets to start it, like get that. And then, you know, it'll help with volume for sure. Yeah. Okay. I think it's a great incentive for people to be like, Hey bud, what you doing? Um, that's the fun. Come here, buddy. Um, oh my gosh. Seriously? Dude, what are you doing? You smashing the door? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what else? I think those were like the main things is like those, that fun group she has going on. Um, I'm not sure. Like I usually like to kind of do smaller ones or whatever. Cause it's going to be huge, but that's going to be so much fun. If you want to put that out there, you know, you know, just to see where it is. I think maybe if people struggling in there, I think if you know somebody kind of struggling in your marriage, in their marriage, um, then they might be like, hell no. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, that's I like the girl, wash, girl, wash your face with to be mindset. And then oh, yeah be kind of marriage focused with like a sex challenge, but you don't have to necessarily put what it is exactly, but, um, you know. <laughs> oh my God, I'm telling you, they were going through, they were hashing it out in this thread and the stuff they were saying, I was like, oh my gosh, y'all and TMI on everybody. <laughs> like about how it's that time of month, but it doesn't matter. You should have a certain amount of days. And I was like, oh my hell no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love y'all, but that's enough. I love you guys. We yeah. got it. <laughs> They're like <laughs> really getting into it. I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Um, cool. So those are some fun things. I think like, cause a lot of times what I do is I look and see what Mike is doing and then I kind of mirror something off of that so um because since I usually like to run like small little boot camps like I only have like I think eight people in my small one right now and then we have the big one in the challenge tracker app um so well I think I'm probably gonna do something similar but more like on confidence and wellness um for women because I really feel like when it's that back to school time, you know what I mean? People are like, okay, kids are going back. I need to focus on me again, you know? So whether it's that group or if you, if we want to do it, you know, a different one, as far as, um, you know, mine would probably not start till the second week of September. I think my is starting September 3rd. Um, it, you know, it gives a good, a good thing to push for, but for me, I'm like, you know, just overall, taking care of yourself because summers are hard. <laughs> so I, I, I'm going to be 100% like honest, Laura and I were talking about this and I've heard this also with a couple of my coaches too, is like, I feel like my challenge groups are just like mundane. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like, Every month they start off pretty strong, but for some, like they're dying off. And I'm like, a, do you have an ongoing one or do you have little ones that start? Or? I have one for summer ongoing. And the only people posting are my coaches like Roxanne, um, you know, and so, yeah. Well, and that's can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me at all? Yeah. Laura. I What's hear that? Laura. Okay. So yeah. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Um, so something that I did that was a little bit different and it, um, I know Maria did it. And so I was with Aaron and Diana and um, Jennifer Taylor. And we did this challenge, like it was, it was a two week um, 
it was a two week group and I, but we, it was a free group, but we did it all on messenger. We didn't really post, have daily posts. What we pretty much told, we, we spoke to everybody separately, you know, and told them this is going to be something totally new that we're doing. And that might be something that you want to try sometime. There's not like consistent daily posts, but your post finger sweaty selfie. And, you know, you might post like everybody's loving on the pictures that people post. And we got so much engagement. People were posting their sweaty selfies. It was easy for them to get into via messenger and just do that. They didn't feel like they had to really watch too much. We might pop in there and like do a little video, you know, sometimes, but it wasn't, it was really easy and it was, but it was fun and it was really cool to see people. Yeah. How many people were in there? Well, it wasn't a huge group. There was maybe like 20. So, I mean, so if you're looking at like a 300 something person group or anything bigger than that, that probably wouldn't work. But for smaller. Because sometimes in some of the threads, you know, it's like you look at it and it's like 20 plus messages missed and you're like, oh my God. Yeah. I know. I know. converted to paid customers? Um, I had one... I had three people added to the group and one out of three of them converted to a paying customer, but the other two I'm waiting. The, one of them really, really wanted to, to upgrade to a challenge pack, but she can't do it till the be- beginning of the year. So I was like, just go ahead and cancel. Yeah. You'll be fine. Well, cause she knows. And then we work together. So yeah, that's definitely a great idea for a smaller group. I think for sure. Mm-hmm. Like, um, you know what I mean? If you're concerned about like, if anyone's concerned about like starting a group or whatever, I think that's a great idea. The threads. Um, if it's going to be really small, yeah, but you're right. For bigger groups, it won't work because you'll just yeah. get lost. We do an ongoing, our ongoing free group. So we've got about 500 people in that Facebook group. Um, it doesn't get a lot of traction, but I get a lot of people behind the scenes. Honestly, you might see one person, two people comment on my thing, but every single person in, cause you have to, you have it in there to where you can put, ask a question to get into the group and we have them put their email address. So we get their email address every time they put, they come in the group to request. So all of those people, I, I have their email address and I've entered it into, you know, our emails so that we send that out. So that's been helpful for me. Now everyone's different, but really we really, you know, that was, that's a good way. So I am able to email all of them instead of just have them in a group. But if you have a small group, I think the threads are so good because it's a personable relationship. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they know you're there, you're helping them, you're guiding them more. I've done that more like I had a group on Facebook and then I had a messenger of all my new people. Oh, cool. I think that Roxanne, maybe you were in that oh. with my healthy mom. I tried that for two months and I failed. I failed. <laughs> I can't keep up. Well, maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's an option, Laura, with this next month. I'm just gotta yeah. think like, you know, just times change and it could be me, um, too. And, um, uh, cause I know my, group, my free groups, I get a ton of engagement, but that's because I'm in there every day and I'm going live. Yeah. Every night. Um, you know, yeah. and I feel, I always see waves. Shay, I see waves of, of things. So right now I really feel like with school starting up, people being busy, like we are, our engagement is, um, not crazy high in our challenge group. I mean, I want to say, let me look and see, I can tell you. Um, I mean, it's a good amount, but what I always do is, um, yeah, we have a low, oh wait, that's the wrong group. Never mind. Um, what I always do is every month I run a three week group using that Google document for the boot camps. And so we had, are you talking about people that log or people that anything, just anything? Just, yeah, engagement. Okay. Engagement in general. Just, so, yeah. People log. Um, tell your clients they can go in settings and it will automatically log their beach body on demand workout too. You guys know that? That's they, right. They go to settings and it'll show. So we only have 20, one, two, three. 
I don't know, like 25 people vlog today. Um, and that's out of a lot. I don't know. You know what I mean? But that's in the ongoing group. So what I do is I have three week boot camp, small group. I have eight girls in there right now. Then after three weeks, I put them in the bigger group and it's kind of like new blood. You know what I mean? Yeah. People are like, oh, okay. So then they like engage with each other. They're talking, whatever. Um, and then, and I always see whenever I'm like not putting as many comments, I always see engagement go down, you know? So, um, so then it's, then it helps kind of like refuel the group. I feel like, like more people are engaging with each other. There's more, there's new people. And then, it, so every month I'm putting in usually eight to 10, eight to 15 people, new people. Even yeah. But sometimes our comments, if we're, if the, if it's too big, the, you know, the post of the day is too big. Um, if it's too, I don't know. Sometimes people just, if it's anything to do with like psychology and the performance line, <laughs> we're still like trying to tell them something else. Like usually they're like, I don't know. They don't talk very much about it unless they're like, I love it. Usually there's not much talking on it, but um, yeah, but I just find it in waves. Like, I think it's going to be waves. Okay. I don't know if that helped at all. I think it's like ebbs and flows. Okay. I'm excited about the flash sale. So is the link going to be in team inspiration? Are you going to share the link or how are yeah, we going to get I, I just got it. So I'll actually put that in our threads. I wanted to make sure that we were good to go. Now, remember, don't put people in there and participate if you don't want to do a gift card. <laughs> You're in charge of doing the gift card, so. The gift cards, yeah. yeah. But it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a great thing as far as that. Um, is there anything else you guys wanna talk about? Can't think of anything. Nothing. No, just a reminder of new coach um, university is no longer. So it's in the units in the team page. Yeah. So cool. If you have if you haven't gone through them or if maybe there's a certain subject that you were, you know, kind of thinking, man, I, I need to revisit that. Go and just watch that one video. It's kind of cool. You can just go and watch the like the other day. I can't remember what I watched the other it's for something, but I had a new coach sign up and it was nice. I could just say introduce her to our team page and say, go to the team page and go under units and work at your own pace. And then I slowly check in, Hey, what video are you on? How are you doing? Um, but even like, I know Mandy shared, she watched all of them in the beginning, did the new coach university, but I, she did it a year later and she learned so much because there's no way in the beginning you're going to really fully grasp everything. So if you haven't gone through that coach university, pick a video, just one or two a day and let it be part of your PD and or training. And, uh, kind of revisit that. And then you're also able to train your coaches better on that too. Absolutely. And I feel Thanks like, for doing you that. know, yeah. Oh, go ahead, Laura. Speaking of PD, sorry, speaking of PD, if you're needing something just to kind of give you a swift kick in the butt, what? <laughs> I got one. Could you guys like just. <laughs> Have you read Get Over Your Damn Self? Get Over Your Damn Self. Have you read that? Yeah. I don't think I have. It is I so have. good. It's on Audible. Yeah. It's by um, basically one of the top people of, what's that skin, Caroline Rodin? Rodin. Rodin she was like, and some of the stuff is like, <laughs> some of the stuff is yeah. like, take, you know what I mean? Take what you can out of it. Like some of it, I'm like, eh. Right. You know, it kind of makes it like, I don't know. But I think it's really, it really helped me to be like, to see, to not take things personal when someone's just like not into the business or not, or, and even to be smart about it, because I mean, like an example on something she brings up, cause it's on network marketing, but I just found that it was really helpful on business building, but something that she brings up is like, Hey, if you lead with the discount first and you have to basically convince someone for the discount, you're not going to get somebody that wants to work the business. You know what I mean? Like you have to lead right. with working the business and then kind of go from there because, and that was something that, um, 
yeah, I'd never thought of on, and, and I mean, she goes over simple, simple stuff, but it's really, I thought it was really helpful too. She talks about, I think she was a lawyer or maybe not, maybe a med, she was in the medical, I can't even remember. She has some professional, her husband was a doctor. Um, she was very successful, um, but they wanted, they saw network marketing as such a smart thing. And so they invested into it and she's just, it's, I think it's a brilliant book. Okay. The audible's good. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know what else. If, yeah, if anybody has any good ideas, just I am me or something like that, because I know that I would like. I need to get something that's going to give me a swift kick in the butt. <laughs> Girl, you gotta get that Shanti so. thing. You gotta get Shanti's test group. That's the other thing. Well, I know, and I have not been able to get a fire lit under my butt, and I don't know what's going on. So I just need to double and triple up on PD and just yeah, it I'm if if you know I'm if yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'll be okay. I'm, yeah, so. you will. and it ebbs and flows on things too, just like that, just like with challengers. You know, we all go through our hard times and our times where we're stronger than other times, you know? We all have yeah. days where it's a struggle and then days where we're doing better. I'm trying to look and see my PD and what's helped me. Oh, you, oh, you had the um, lion one before, lion chaser. Oh gosh, Chase the Lion was amazing. I have it in hardback. I might read it, I might read it again. That one's good. I like the, I love Laura. that one. Laura, I'm going to send you a link. Or I'll post it in our thread. Someone shared it, how to turn your fears into your secret weapon that somebody sent me. I, I, I'm in a diamond thread here. But I had asked because okay. another reached out to me and said she was just like overwhelmed. And somebody said, um, carry on, war, carry on warrior. The power of embracing your messy, beautiful life by Glennon Doyle. Oh my gosh, I kind of like that. Me. Carry on with you, the power of embracing your messy, beautiful life. And somebody also said, you know, Br Brene Brown, Brene Brown always helps um, with controlling anxiety. And then another one said, Battlefield of the Mind with Joyce Meyer. I love her. Yeah, I've read that one. I've read that, and that was a few years ago. So, you know, I've really tried to, like, for me, just, I mean, for me, I've been starting my morning off now with a religious podcast. Cause I was doing like a little bitty short devotional, but then listening to like some kind of PD and then training. And before I knew it, the day would get by and I like really didn't do a whole lot of like, for me, my Christian based stuff that I want to do. So I've been listening to Joyce Meyer on podcasts and oh my gosh, like while I'm getting ready, she is freaking so good. But she did one about um, like taking care of yourself and making more, like more time. She has a radio podcast and a TV podcast. So when I'm at home, I do the TV one. And I just do it while I'm getting ready. And they're like 20 minutes or so. And they're yeah. good because she comes from such like instability. And she was, I can relate to her so much. She was like that loud, abrasive, um, you know, just like I control everything. I'm in control and mm -hmm. kept showing her grace and was just like so even killed. And it, it wasn't until her forties that she started getting into women's ministry. And so like, I, I don't, if you're looking for just a way, because for me to just to sit down and read, is just not happening right now for me. And I was like, how can I, right. so the, like, a, I, so Joyce Meyer has an awesome, she's like two or three podcasts. So just want to throw okay. it out if you want to, if that's something you kind of want to do. Um, I'd if, like to, yeah. I love her. She's so real and raw and I can mm -hmm. really learn so many levels. So anyway, just wanted to share that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Okay. All right. So does anybody want to, Laura, you can't get on because I don't see your face, but do you guys want to take a quick picture? I see Brian. I think, uh, Claudia jumped off, but Brianna, can you, you guys can put a sticker on my face and I'll pretend to be smiling. Yeah. <laughs> my my is not showing since I'm nursing. <laughs> I know. No, I promise. It's not. It's not. I promise. All right. Smile everybody. Okay, I got it. Thanks, girl. I smiled. Hi.
<laughs> I could hear it, Laura. Yeah. All right, guys. I better head off and go put my kids to bed. All right. Bye, y'all. Say bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. bye, -bye.